Now from Angel Stadium in Anaheim. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels. John Shambi and Chris Singleton with you. And we got a rubber now, match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. Angeles. They've split the first two. And regardless Angel. of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Okay, all set to go. Here's a speed threat, Steve Rogers. Leading up to the twin. The Nobody better. Time. Stay hot. Nobody Steve better right there. Roger. Keep swinging hot bat, huh? And the pitch. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Play back and gone. Another one in his incredible season. And they jump out front. It's 1 0. Well, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Brandon Marsh. And leading up for the Angels, the left fielder, Brandon. Kicks and deals. On the ground, Rogers over to pick it up. Slings it across. One up, one down. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. That Does that change second. anything, Chris, That's especially for the hitters? David. Absolutely. You feel so Watcher. much more. Here's Trout. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. One. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Oh, what a flip for one. On to Telez, and the double play ends the inning. Second inning coming up from Anaheim. It's the Twins one and the Angels nothing. And now it's Vidal Bruhan swinging it much better this season in away that games than here at home. The designated hitter, Vidal Bruhan. He's going. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here at the ballpark, here's some real power at the plate. Steve Rogers. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And a pitch. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. A towering home run. And they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a... So the lineup flips over. Hey, so up next for Minnesota, Steve Rogers. He's a guy who does Steve. it all. Hey, grip it and Roger. rip it, kid. Grip it and rip it. Come on, baby. See it? Drive it. 
First offering misses badly for ball one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Oh, now this is drilled to center. Way back there, on its way, and gone. He'll circle the bases. That's his third home run of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 5-zip. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three-homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Steve Rogers digs in now. So you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Run around the goal. Swing and a high yeah, fly ball. Pretty out. well struck. Right field. Way back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. His fourth home run of the game. It's 7 0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game. They're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you. But, of course, you got to make it happen, too. And these are the types of performances that people... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for the Angels, and Mike Trout. For the Angels, the center fielder, Mike Wow. The wind and the pitch. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Throw over to Telez, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. No Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in the long ball threat, Steve now Rogers. The shortstop. Steve Rogers. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Here's Trevor Larnick. Hit on the ground to the right side. Walsh oh. steps on the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Minnesota, and they hold a 7-0 lead. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves you've got some good momentum but at home you also have a higher expectation to play well so they're going to have to maintain the focus because those fans are expecting a lot and a 7-1 finish in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chomby